Hey, welcome back to my channel. It's Eddie. I am going to talk to you about three credit cards from this banks that I have that are always sending me letters with this great offers. And they're always increasing my credit limit. And I'm going to share with you this information. And these are the credit cards. First National Bank of Omaha, a Visa. The next credit card, Bank of America, Visa. And the last card or credit card is City MasterCard. These three cards from these three banks are always sending me these offers 0% and 4% interest for six months, one year, or two years. How does this work? Well, when I receive a letter from this bank with this software, the letters have checks. Yes, checks from the bank with some checks that have printed on 0% or 4% interest. The checks also have printed on numbers which indicate to the bank what checks are being used. The numbers identify the checks as to what it is, 0% or 4% interest. Now, the checks also have expiration dates, which means that if I want to write out a check, I have to write it out before the expiration date. There are two ways if I want to take this offer. Either I can write out a check to my name and deposit it in my bank account, or I can call the credit card bank and talk to them about this offers and that I want to, to do a transaction. The representative will pull out my account and see if this offer that I'm talking about is in my account in the computer system. If it is, then we can proceed with that transaction. The representative will ask me questions like for instance, what checks or what transaction I want to use, either the 0% or the 4%. And of course, you know, I'm going to get the 0% because I don't want to pay any interest. And who wants to pay any interest? I don't. So once I tell the representative that I want the 0% interest for this amount of time, then the representative will proceed with the transaction. But of course, there's, there's going to be a fee for this transaction for the use of the money because the 0% and the 4% offer has nothing to do with the fees because the banks have to make money. This is a business. This is how businesses work or how the bank business works. The bank has to make money. Now, just because I call the credit card bank to do a transaction, that doesn't mean I'm going to proceed and do it. I mean, I can, but depending on the you know, on the fee that I'll be charged. 
if the fee is high, I will not proceed. If the fee is low, then I will proceed, you know, to complete the transaction. Let's say I decide not to do the transaction because of the fee is too high and because of the amount of money that I'll be using. If the amount of money is low and the transaction fee is high, I will tell the representative, the representative will not proceed and that will be it. But if I decide to proceed, let the, the representative know the fee is okay and then the representative will continue to do the process and then once the process is completed, I have to wait a couple of days until I check my bank account to see if the money is already deposited in my bank account. If I decide to do more transactions, it will be another fee. I mean, once I do that transaction and then later I come and want to do another transaction, then that will be another fee because they're different transactions. Now, let's say that I write out a check and deposit it in my bank account. I will be charged a fee, not by my bank account, but the credit card bank will charge me a transaction fee for this amount of money that I'll be using. And once the bank verifies check with the credit card bank that everything is okay, then the money will show in my bank account. And then I can use as I want. Now, let's say that I don't use the money at all, that I decide not to use it. Then I can just go ahead and return the money back To the bank and that's it if I use the money I have to pay it back to the bank before the expiration date because if not then I have to pay a higher interest for that money because once the expiration date it's over the interest rate will be high from a 12% or 24% depending on what I agreed on that it will be right after the expiration date of the checks. If not, I will be ending up paying interest, which I don't want to do. And who wants to pay interest? I don't. So, but this is the way the offers work. I am just sharing with you this information regarding these three credit cards from these three banks. If you have any questions or comments, let me know in the comment box below and I'll do my best to answer you back. If you saw value and liked video, like and subscribe Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.